Okay. It says theory kid, but I'm doing <laughs> nursing thing. Edit that out. All right. Oh, shit. Yes. Hello, everybody. Nurse Sam here. Hello, hello. As you guys can see by the screen, hopefully you can see the screen. Thumbs up, by the way. Um, give me a thumbs up if you're coming in. You can see the screen. You can see that this is NCLEX Jeopardy for RN and LPN students. Give me a thumbs up in the comments if you can see that. All right. Welcome to NCLEX Jeopardy. This is our free and our fun NCLEX review, like I said, for RN and um, LPN nursing students. This is a great way to review for your nursing school exams, your exit HESI, your NCLEX traditional, your next gen NCLEX because the content's the same. This is a great way to review for it because we all know that practice may not make perfect, but it makes progress, all right? It's the best way for us to gain our um, and work on our critical thinking skills as well as expose ourselves to NCLEX style questions so we get a good you know, um, feel of what to expect on the actual exam, all right? So think of this as dress rehearsal, okay? So how are we gonna play really quick some house rules so we can go get right into um, playing since we started a little bit late. Um, we have our five categories right here, as you can see, pharmacology, fundies, maternal, oh, I'm sorry, maternity, mental health, adult health. Those are our five categories. You have five questions per category ranging from 100 points to 500 points, okay? So a total of 25 um, comprehensive and click style questions. Once again, that are for both the NCLEX RN and NCLEX PN exams. Okay, anybody can say this. Anybody within nursing school can use this exam review. All right, so when I click on a question for whatever points, let's say I click on maternity 300, it's gonna be worth 300 points. Um, you're gonna see the question, whatever the answer choices are, multiple choice, whatever. Um, you're going to type in the comments whatever you think that comment, I mean, that correct answer is, okay? You're actually going to play it like Jeopardy. So you have to say what is whenever you submit your answer, all right? So if you think that I click maternity 300 and you think the answer is um, the third option or C, you're going to say what is C or what is three, okay? We're playing for points. Whoever gets the highest amount of points at the end of this, all right, this is going to be like a little fast round since we're um, starting late. Whoever gets the most amount of points is going to win a free ultimate bundle. Yeah, ultimate nursing school um, bundle. It's going to be um, going to win that. And that's getting updated very shortly. So trust me, you're going to want to win that. Okay, usually worth $97, but someone's going to win it for free. All right, so whoever has the highest amount of points at the end of the game is going to be the winner of that free ultimate um, nursing school bundle. Okay, now whoever answers first and um, correctly on my screen is going to be the winner of those points. All right, if for some reason there's like a lag with the internet and the live, and you see someone, uh, maybe Mary Sue answers first, but I see um, Britney Spears answers um, first on my screen, I got to go with my screen. Got to go with Britney. Okay, so that's how we're going to play it. All right, guys. If you're just here to play and you don't want to play for points and you, you're just here for the um, review, you don't say what is. Just go ahead and just, um, you know, answer the question. But if you say what is, I'll know that you want the points and you're actually wanting the um, a shot at winning the free ultimate bundle. OK, don't don't get the points if you've already got the ultimate bundle. Get it, give it to somebody else that may want it. OK. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started to play. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready, if you heard all the rules, the house rules, if it's pretty simple enough. <laughs> if you all ready to get started, give me a thumbs up so we can go ahead and get started on our first question. All right. Mm, let's go ahead and do, and I was talking about maternity 300, so let's do maternity 300. That'll be our first question. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready to go for maternity 300 points. Ready? Boop, 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 boop. Awesome. Remember to tag your um, nursing student friends, anybody that you know that's in nursing school that needs a great, free, fun review. Make sure you tag them in this so they can go ahead and play along, okay? All right, so maternity for 300. 
A type 1 diabetic mother delivered a 4,400 gram newborn three hours ago. She has already initiated breastfeeding. What should the nurse plan to do to maintain euglycemia in this client? One, I don't make sure y'all see that, cool. One, administer her pre-pregnancy dose of metformin. Two, assess her blood glucose before administering any glucose-lowering medications. Three, administer 20 units of long-acting insulin as sufficient time has elapsed since delivery. Uh, four, keep NPO, or nothing by mouth, for an additional four hours to allow the blood glucose to normalize. What is our answer? What is our answer, guys? Remember, if you want the points, this is maternity for 300 points. You have to say what is when you're answering. If you just want to review, just go ahead and just say your review, okay? All right, so let's go and see what our answer is. You ready? And three, two, one. Let's do it. All right, the answer is what is two, guys. I'm seeing lots of what is two, so let me scroll all the way up and see who got what is two first. And it is, hold on. Whoop, wait, go back. E. Varner, 1988. You're the first person to say what is two. All right, on my screen, so congratulations. So E. Varner, great job. You got 300 points and you're on the scoreboard. To everyone else that got the correct answer, but you maybe didn't say what it is or you didn't get it first, it doesn't matter. On the actual NCLEX, it's not Jeopardy style. All right, so it doesn't matter if it's the new NCLEX, old NCLEX, whatever. As long as you're getting it correct, you're comprehending the material, okay? So let's look at why. Always look at why, the rationale. Whenever you're taking questions, practice questions, Look at the rationale, okay? That is the cheatiest cheat code I can give you, all right? It says, um, the correct answer is what is two, which was assess her blood glucose before administering any glucose-lowering medications, all right? It says, frequently after delivery, uh, blood glucose is maintained for several days at a relatively low level, especially when the mother is breastfeeding, okay? As the placenta hormones have been depleted, all right, so we that's what we know about this mother. She is, not only did they, um, did she just give birth three hours ago? She already initiated breastfeeding, all right? So those placental hormones are gone. It is not necessary to keep this mother NPO, all right? So nothing by mouth. Um, and not feeding her may actually be harmful to her. So no medications to alter her blood glucose should be administered to this mother without having assessment data about her current blood glucose level, okay? We kind of know that from, you know, ADPI, all right? Whenever we're doing um, any type of or implementing any type of nursing action, we want to think about the nursing process, okay? ADPI, that A stands for what? What does the A in ADPI stand for for um, nursing process? Mm -mm -mm. What does the A in ADPI? It is assessment. Great job. All right. ADPI is assessment or assess, diagnose, or let me say assessment, di um, diagnosis, uh, uh, planning, implementation, and evaluation. That's ADPI. Okay. That's the nursing process. Fun fact. Okay. Fun fact for all my girlies. Who are here that's going to be taking the next generation NCLEX, which launches officially April 1st all over. If you're going to be taking the next generation NCLEX, um, the nursing process, although still valid, especially when we're trying to um, figure out like nursing priority actions, when it comes to um, thinking of, well, the the steps that the NCSBN wants you to think about when you're answering questions, they don't want you to go through the nursing process in your head anymore, unless it's called for. They want you to go through something called their um, cognitive skill model, okay? So it's very, very similar <laughs> to ADPI. It's just it's some extra steps and some different words, but we'll go over that and I have a post about that, but just so you know, okay? So let's go ahead and get into our next question, okay? Remember, you assess before you do anything else, 
All right, period, point blank. You assess, gather your information so you know what to do next, okay? All right, that was maternity for 300, and let's do mental health for 400. All right, mental health for 400. All right. It says, a depressed client who appeared sullen, distraught, and hopeless a few days ago now suddenly appears calm, relaxed, and more energetic. Which is the nurse's best initial action with regard to the client's altered demeanor? One, continue to assess the client's behaviors and document clearly in the chart. Two, report to the psychiatrist that the client is adapting to the unit and is feeling safe. Three, notify the health team of these observations and alert them to the suspicion that the client is contemplating suicide. Or four, engage the client in one-to-one -one supervision. Share with the client the observations that have been assessed and ask whether the client is thinking about suicide. All right, test taking tip for all my first timers. Remember, after you read the question, you read all the answer choices. Go back and either reread the whole question or at least, at the very least, read the last line so you're reminded of what the question is actually asking you, okay? It says, which, which is a nurse's best initial action with regard to the client's altered demeanor? All right, what do we know about our test-taking strategies? We're gonna look for those key words like best and initial, all right? Those are priority questions, okay? We were just talking about this, the last one. All right, so let's look and see what that answer is. What is for? Engage the client in one-to-one -one supervision, share with the client the observations that have been assessed, okay? And then ask whether the client is thinking about suicide. That is the correct answer. Great job to all, my, um, to all you guys that said for. Let's see who got it first. All right, what is for, what is for? Mm -mm -mm. Nikki Martins, great job. Nikki Martins is the first person to say what is for. Great job. You are now on the scoreboard with 400 points. Let me see how you spell your name. Okay, Nikki Martins. What did I say? Yep, 400 points. Awesome, awesome. All right, great job to everybody that said what is for. Once again, if you did not get what is for, make sure you read the rationale and pay attention to why the answer is what it is and why your answer was wrong, okay? It says, the sudden change in the depressed client's mood and affect may indicate that the client has come to a decision about suicide. That is a major mental health study tip, okay? With a nursing school whenever you have a question or maybe you'll have a case study where um all of a sudden you know a client that was once like like eeyore from winnie the pooh okay just depressed down and depressed all of a sudden they're just a, just a chipper <laughs> okay that's usually a red flag okay it's usually a red a red flag so it says um, and specifically that red flag means that they're, uh, come, they've come to a decision about suicide. Okay. So now they're at peace. They're happy. They're going to, you know, do things that maybe make them happy and, and tie off loose ends, those things like that. So you want to be aware of the types of words they're using. See if, um, you know, if they're saying anything specific about, you know, just like maybe leaving something, uh, uh, like a legacy type thing. It says the only way to be sure is to ask the client directly. Okay. Hey, are you thinking about suicide? Maybe a little bit more tactful than that, but yeah, it says the best way to assess whether or not they're doing it is to just straight up ask them directly. It says eliminate options that present strategies, uh, that would be used with any client. It says, avoid options that make unfounded assumptions, such as the meaning of the behavior, okay? Notifying others of your concern may be necessary at some point, but there's nothing to address the problem directly, okay? That's where that priority comes into play, all right? Whenever you have a priority question on the NCLEX or one of your nursing school exams, very rarely are you going to have um, one of the option choices be like just flat out incorrect. Okay, that's what usually makes them so difficult. You're not looking for like a 
wrong or right answer, true or false answer. You're looking for the most correct, literally the most correct. What do you need to do right now, first thing directly right now? Okay, so the other options may be correct, it may be to do in five minutes, but right here, right now, this is what you need to do, okay? All right, did I say who got that one? I did. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, somebody said fundamentals. Let's do fundamentals for 200. Cool. Fundy is for 200. All right, guys. It says a client with urolithiasis. I can't say that word. Urolithiasis. Sure. Is scheduled for extracorporeal shock with lithotripsy. The nurse should tell the client that which will be necessary before the procedure is performed. One, insertion of a Foley catheter. Two, a signed informed consent. Three, clear liquids only on the day of the procedure. Or four, administration of antihypertensive medication. All right, what is our answer? Remember what I said about that test taking strategy, that test taking tip. After you read it fully through one, one good old time, circle back, all right? Spin the block back and at least read that last line again, all right? The nurse should tell the client that which will be necessary before the procedure is performed, all right? We have a client with urolithiasis. A, what is that? Okay, critical thinking. This is your critical thinking, all right? We have a client with urolithiasis. So what is that? <laughs> okay, paint that picture in your mind. All right, they're scheduled for a procedure, extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy. Okay, let's see what that answer is. You ready? What is two? What is two? Remember, guys, this is NCLEX Jeopardy for those that are coming in and out. Hello, hello. I'm Nurse Sam. This is NCLEX Jeopardy for RN and LPNs. A great way to um, have fun and review so it can stick to your brain longer and faster. Okay. Um, this is our fundamentals for 200 question. And the answer is what is to a signed informed consent form. All right. That's what the nurse should tell the client that's necessary before the procedure is performed. All right. And it's a signed informed consent form was the answer. So who got what is to first? Mm -mm -mm. Let me look and see. First person to say what is two is Ray Marie, 73. Ray Marie, 73. Hey, Ray Marie, 73. I'm sure that didn't mean to rhyme, but <laughs> we're going to make it rhyme today. All right, Ray Marie, you are now on the scoreboard with 200 points. Great job. All right, guys. Once again, make sure you are reading that rationale, especially if you got that incorrect, all right? Even if you got it correct, make sure you're reading that rationale, okay? You never know what kind of questions you're gonna get on the NCLEX. You could get something like this um, again, but the question was, it will be, it'll focus on a different part of the question, if that makes sense, okay? So make sure you're reading the entire rationale. All right, so this rationale says, Extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy, all right? That is that is done with the client under epidural or general anesthesia, all right? So that is, once again, that's a procedure, okay? And we know before procedures, especially invasive um, procedures, client must sign a consent form for the procedure and must have no oral intake beginning the night before the procedure, okay? And that's pre-op standards, okay? Um, the client needs an intravenous line for the procedure as well, so they can get some IV fluids and stay hydrated, especially because they'll be NPO um, due to the anesthesia. Critical thinking tip or question, critical thinking quiz. Why um, must a patient be NPO um, whenever they're about to have 
surgery. What is the reason behind um, the importance of a patient not having anything on their stomach, um, eating or drinking anything for a certain amount of time before surgery? Why is that so important? That is a great critical thinking exercise and question. Absolutely. It prevents, well, it's an aspiration risk. Absolutely. Okay, do we know why it's an aspiration risk? Let's take it a step further. Okay, critical thinking. All right. Why is it an aspiration risk? What does the anesthesia do? I see nursing uniforms, their body system slows down. It Scuba, uh, scuba tan 31, loss of gag reflex, all right? Remember with that anesthesia, everything goes to sleep, okay? Everything goes to sleep, everything relaxes, including your gag reflex, okay? So just in case, you know, your body tries to catch itself and like, you know, just in case you're, you're while you're sleeping, you like throw up or something like that or you have um, your stomach contacts just come up, you don't have that gag reflex to automatically just catch it and, and protect yourself and move it down. It's, it's sleep, it's relaxed. So that can very quickly go into your lungs, hence the um, aspiration risk. And we know that if you get fluid um, via aspiration into your lungs, you are at risk for what? Fluid in the lungs due to aspiration is dangerous because that puts the client in direct um, danger for what? Pneumonia. What kind of pneumonia? Aspiration pneumonia. I see you, E. Varner. Aspiration pneumonia. Great. Y'all see how that was just critical thinking? Okay. That line of that sequence of, of questions and that line of thinking is exactly how the NGN is going to be um, questioning you guys and really uh, making sure that you understand the material. Not just the material, but why answers are what they are, okay? So, great job, y'all did great. Did I say who got those points? I did. All right, so, uh, insertion of the Foley catheter is not normally performed, and there's no reason to administer antihypertensive medication for this procedure, all right? What is two? Great job. Now let's do, we did, Fundies, maternity, mental health. Let's do farm. And let's do farm for 500. Let's go there. Let's go there, guys. Oh, this is select all that apply. Okay, guys, let's do it. All right, we're going to do this together. All right, this is pharmacology for 500 points, y'all. Select all that apply. So what do we know about select all that apply? I'll tell y'all in a second, okay? Answer the question and we'll talk. All right? Answer the question. Remember, you want to give yourselves like 60 seconds to answer these types of questions. You want to time yourself. You're not going to have this on the end clicks. Okay. You're not going to have this little fun little thing. But whenever you're doing your practice questions, time yourself. All right. Make sure you're at least taking no more than 60 seconds on these, okay? So what is our answer, guys? This is select all that apply. So I need you to tell me what your answer is, and then after you tell me your answer, then I need you to tell me why. I don't, explain to me why you chose what you chose, and then we're gonna see what our answers are, okay? All right, y'all ready? Great teaching, thank you so much. All right, y'all, let's see what it is. All right, this says, the nurse is monitoring a client who is taking digoxin for adverse effects. Which findings are characteristic of digoxin toxicity? Selects all that apply. One, tremors. Two, diarrhea. Three, irritability. Four, blurred vision. Five, nausea and vomiting. Select all that apply. All right. Let's see what this answer is. What is two, four, and five, which are diarrhea, blurred vision, and nausea and vomiting? All right. Two, four, and five. If you got that, great job. All right. Great job. Two, four, and five. Let's see who got that first. Two, four, and five. 
old school, but you got it, but you didn't say what is. So I'm assuming you don't want those points, but at least you got that correct, which means you comprehend the content. Great job. All right, but as far as the points, the winner of these points, all right, 500 points is gonna go to, let's see, what is two? Okay, Scuba came back and said, what is two, four, and five? Ew. All right, Scuba. Scuba tan, there we go. Scuba tan. Scuba tan said, listen, I did not come to play with y'all. I came to scuba and tan and pass the NCLEX. And amen, okay? 500 points to you, scuba tan. Great job. What is two, four, and five? Diarrhea, blurred vision, nausea, and vomiting. Okay? All right, guys. So, wait, I'm so I can see that. Let's look and see. So, everybody that... um. <laughs> Select all the apply for these types of questions are always funny because um, the answer will be two, four, and five, and you'll either see people put two, four, and five, or the the other numbers, uh, one, three, one, and three. <laughs> you usually see um, see that see the opposite, which usually means somebody doesn't um, um, understand they got it like mixed up. But that's why we're gonna go over it, okay? All right, guys. So first of all, when it comes to pharmacology and digoxin. You need to know it. You must know it, okay? It is one of the um, top 50 um, commonly tested medications in pharmacology for RM programs, LPM programs, doesn't matter. On the NCLEX period, digoxin um, and those adverse effects and that digoxin toxicity, that is something that you need to know. Period, point blank, does not matter your credentials, does not matter your program, it doesn't matter. Okay, that is a very, very common um, medication, which means that teaching, that patient teaching is common. You need to know that. You need to be able to identify that because more than likely, just do, statistically, you'll see that in within your nursing career, no matter what um, um, like subdivision you're in. Okay, so let's get into what digoxin is and why it's so important. All right. So digoxin, that is a cardiac glycoside. That's a, that's the classification. It's called a cardiac glycoside. Specifically, it says the risk of toxicity, all right, digoxin toxicity can occur with the use of this medication. All right. Now, not a lot of not every medication has like therapeutic levels and toxic levels, but when it comes to that, digoxin is definitely one of those. Okay. Toxicity can lead to life-threatening events, okay? That's another reason why digoxin is very commonly tested because if you are not able to appropriately um, identify that digoxin toxicity is happening, uh, this person can lose their life, okay? So um, it says toxicity can lead to life-threatening events and the nurse needs to monitor the client closely for signs of toxicity, all right? So... As the nurse, as future nurses, you need to know and you need to be able to identify those signs of toxicity. All right. Early signs of toxicity include, if you didn't know it, you're, you're about to learn it now. Okay. So whether you want to screenshot it, uh, jot it down, doesn't matter, but you need to know these things. Okay. Early signs of digoxin toxicity include a lot of GI manifestations. Okay. So what I mean by that is like anorexia. Um, like that's like a wasting, wasting away. You're getting like skinny or losing like muscle mass, um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. All right. NBD. <laughs> you see that on every side effect ever for every drug. Okay. NBD. Um, but specifically that's an early sign of, of, um, to toxicity in digoxin. Sorry. All right. Subsequent manif manifestations include, and this is where it gets important, and this is where um, these keywords come into play on the NCLEX, okay? Uh, headache, all right? Visual disturbances, such as diplopia, which is double vision, okay? Blurred vision, and specifically like um, yellow-green halos, all right? They're having like artifacts in their eyes, Color-wise, it's specifically yellow-green. So make sure you associate that yellow-green um, color with digoxin toxicity, 
okay? Because they can have, and they have seen it before, especially for me, they'll um, give you a different color halo, all right? Especially in a select auto apply. They'll give you like a, a blue red halo or something like that, or a blue green halo. And you're, you know, this one's yellow green, so you need to be able to identify that, okay? All right. Also, in addition to the yellow green halo, you have photophobia. OK. Um, which is um, was it fear of light. All right. So you have the adversity um, to light, light sensitivity, basically. All right. You're also going to have drowsiness, fatigue and weakness. I mean, it is a cardiac glycoside. It has a medication that affects directly affects your heart. OK, so some drowsiness, fatigue and weakness is to be expected when it comes to, you know, a medication that's directly affecting the way your your ticker is pumping, right? Um, cardiac rhythm abnormalities can also occur, okay? The nurse also monitors the digoxin level, so blood levels, okay? Now, remember I told you about that therapeutic range. The optimal therapeutic range for digoxin is, and you need to know this, make sure you know this, all right? 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 asterisk okay side note <laughs> all right that amount this right here 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 that may slightly differ between publications okay that may slightly um just vary between um, publications but once again the difference is very 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 minimal okay it'll be like 0.5 to 0.9 or 0.5 to like one or something like that um, it won't be like 0.5 to 11. It's nothing like that, okay? And then on the NCLEX, no matter what variation you may have um, studied and whatever publication you may have studied, the NCLEX is always going to give you a value that's so far off. <laughs> like, it does not matter. These points, something points. It's going to give you something that's obviously abnormal or obviously normal, okay? So don't freak out about that, all right? So... That was a great question, um, especially for select all that apply. This is what I want to tell you guys about select all that apply. Um, is anybody here um, taking the traditional or the current NCLEX, aka is anybody taking their NCLEX between now and um, March 31st at midnight or 11.59? Is anybody taking it? Hold on, let me go back. Let me go down. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let me see what y'all saying. Yep, a lot of people <laughs> say, yep, me, 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 me. Okay. So, when it comes to the current versus the next-gen NCLEX, all right, please remember that two things are true. All right, the current versus the the um, next gen NCLEX, the content is the same. All right, the content is the same. You're learning the same content. You're learning the same pharmacology, anatomy, uh, med surge, pediatrics, mental health. You're learning the exact same things. All right, that's not going to change between NCLEX versions. Okay, what is changing is the questions. The questions are changing. The way they are asking it. All right, the way they're asking the questions, that's changing. That's getting a little upgrade. All right, it's getting a little BBL. Okay, so um, when it comes to select all that apply, as far as the differences between the two, select all that apply questions are one of the questions that have a distinct, you know, difference between um, how it's answered. Okay, now when it comes to test taking strategies for answering select all that apply, does anybody struggle with answering select all that apply? Um, or do you pretty much, do you have a good rhythm or do you have, you know, um, a good study tip or a tip period that you have that you maybe want to share that helped you um, be bomb at answering select all that apply? All right. Someone said, these types of questions are my downfall. I felt that relatable. Okay. I, I felt that. All right, we just did another ETA live review and was told NGN more beneficial than what the test was before. I agree. Mm -mm -mm. Knowing content is key. In addition to knowing content, though, it's also very important to know the strategies as well. 
okay? You need equal parts content knowledge as well as equal parts, like a good strategy, okay? The NCLEX is way too intricate to just be one or the other, all right? Especially now because they're asking better questions and more critical thinking questions. They're gonna want you to think about everything as a whole. So you, you're gonna have to start getting into that mode of just thinking and just opening your eyes and seeing everything um, for what it is and taking in all the information. Whether it's relevant or irrelevant, you have to at least go through that stage. And we'll talk about it when I go through um, our next gen like week. More to come on that later. But as far as select all that apply, the strategy wise, whenever you're answering these questions or whenever you have a question that's select all that apply, um, you'll probably see this study tip, but it's one of my favorite study tips. You want to go through each one and ask yourself if it's true or false. Okay. All right, so for the example for this one, which findings are characteristics of digoxin toxicity? Select all that apply. Number one, tremors. Is that true or false? Is tremor a, and I'll say it like in a complete sentence as well. Is tremor, um, or are tremors um, a finding that's a characteristic of digoxin toxicity? Yes or no? And I'll answer that question. Uh, yes, no, blah, blah, blah. If the answer is yes, then I know that I can check that one off one is an answer and if it's no i know boop, i can scratch that one off the list and you do that for each one okay that's that's a good basic um strategy that you can do okay um yeah true and false see i did the true and false exactly uh, 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 uh. tiffany said i passed my anchor in december and first select all that apply i only chose answers i knew were right <laughs> all right um and with that being said the for those that are taking the um NCLEX before the launch of the NGN, you do not have the partial credit scoring method. Okay, the partial credit scoring method um goes into effect with the next generation NCLEX, which is on April 1st. So if you take it before then, you won't have the partial credit um update to the NGN. You'll still have that all or nothing correct, incorrect. Um, scoring method, which is really why one of the reasons why NCLEX is so difficult because it's like an all or nothing type test. Like n there was no type of like grace, like, hey, I may know, you mean to tell me I got this whole question wrong just because like I missed irritability, but I knew everything else or something like that. So with the asking of better questions, they introduced partial credit scoring methods into the next generation um so that can as far as like when people ask whether it's easier or harder subjective but something like the partial credit scoring method is um a, a benefit that's definitely something that's beneficial and in and in, in that candidate's favor okay i'll take partial credit over no partial credit any day <laughs> All right. So that's one of the main differences between if you're taking the next gen versus the um, the regular or the traditional NCLEX. OK, but please, please be aware <laughs> that the next generation NCLEX also includes majority regular traditional questions. OK, just want to make sure just want to make sure you knew that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The, suit, the true false thing super helpful. Awesome. Perfect. All right, guys. What time is it? 8.15. All right. So one, two, three. We did four questions. Like I said, this was not going to be a long one. If you guys want to play the full 25 questions, okay, make sure you download the Nurse Sam app. If you have not downloaded it before, it is free to download. And NCLEX Jeopardy is free to play. All right. The app is called... literally the nurse sam all right like my name <laughs> the nurse sam that is what the app is called all right it's for ios and android devices it is free to download and click jeopardy is free to play okay you get 25 new questions every week all right after um we play and click jeopardy live i update those questions and you guys can play them anytime anywhere by yourself with a friend, with Bay, it doesn't matter. You have um, anytime, anywhere at your fingertips. 
NCLEX practice questions, okay? Um, one second. Now, as far as tonight's game, okay? Scuba Tan 31, congratulations, you are the winner. You have the highest amount of points with 500 points, all right? We had uh, four people total on our scoreboard. Um, congratulations to everyone that A, landed on the scoreboard, and then B, congratulations to everyone that participated, period. Whether you got on the scoreboard or not, the fact that you participated and you played, you just did a practice quest, um, practice test. Like, how does that feel? Like, congratulations, you were just scrolling through TikTok. And you, you studied at the same time. Great job, all right? All right? That effort, okay? Repetition is so important when it comes to studying for nursing school period, the NCLEX. Repetition is important. You need to be able to expose yourself to those NCLEX style questions every day. All right, you need to get used to what to expect so that way when you do see it, and it's the real actual show, like I said, this is, think of this as dress rehearsal, all right? When it's time, when it's showtime, all right, there is no turning back. There is no do-over, okay? So practice as much as you can beforehand. There is literally no such thing as too much practice when it comes to the anglex. You just got to do it in a healthy way, okay? So congratulations, Scuba Tan 31. You are the winner of the Ultimate Nursing School Bundle. All right, that's our 400 page bestseller, which is also getting an update sooner than you guys think. Okay, the update will include some NGN changes. All right, everything that you may need to know about the structure of the NGN that's going to be added to this bundle. Content is staying the same, but we are having some content updates and additions as well. Okay, so some content that you guys have been dying to see within that bundle will be added to the bundle during this update. And of course, if you downloaded or purchased the bundle or want the bundle previously, you get the update and every other update complimentary for free. All right, that's why digital is literally so bomb. Okay. So, um, Scuba Tan, what I need from you is your first name, last name, and your email address. So, whether you um, do send me a DM um, on Instagram, because I don't think TikTok DMs kind of work like that. Um, Scuba Tan said, so I'm new here. Do you have Instagram? Find me on Instagram, well, the nurse am. <laughs> um, find me on Instagram or send me a DM here. I'm not sure which one you can do. Um, and send me in, in that DM, send me your first name, last name, and a good email address so I can go ahead and send you your Ultimate Nursing School bundle. Boop, boop, boop. Isn't that exciting? All right. Remember that bundle and every other study guide that we have is digital but printable. Okay. It's digital so you can get all the free complimentary updates. Um, and it's also printable so you can have a hard copy and print it off if you want. Okay. You can print it off as many times as you want. It's, it's, up to you you can print it professionally or you can go to your office and take advantage of those 200 free color pages. i have no idea <laughs> but you can print it as you see fit if you see fit all right so make sure you guys download the nurse sam app if you want to play the rest of these questions okay we just went through a couple this replay is along with the rest of the other replays for all the other nclix jeopardies if you want to watch some old videos it's going to be located on my youtube channel all right the nurse sam tv.com or you can search me on youtube at the nurse sam and check out my nclix jeopardy reviews there okay all right, let me see what you guys are saying. So if we already have the digital, then the updates will be emailed to us. I love it. Absolutely love Amber. See? See, that's why digital is so amazing. Because who has time to buy a new hard copy book every time there's an update? That means every time there's a spelling error, every time somebody spells juice on it, <laughs> you know, you got to get something new. It's, now, that's, that is not cost effective, okay? But having it digital and printable, the best of both worlds, like, I don't understand why people be mad. Like, I'm giving you what you want. <laughs> Free updates. Poo. All right. The nursing, how much is the bundle? So the bundle, the 400 page um, Ultimate Nursing School bundle is $97 um, right now on sale. It's always, that's our discounted price. 
Um, you can also get that plus Anklix Arcade for $117. You'll actually be saving $40 bucks if you get both of those at the same time. But just like with um, the Ultimate Bundle and Clicks Arcade, when we update that for the next gen, you'll get that update complimentary as well. So you don't have to repurchase anything. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. I need to get your grad for my sister who starts to accelerate BS and Cuss this fall. That is true, um, Dr. Quinn. You Yes, absolutely. Hook your sister up. Hook your sister up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for playing. I will see you guys next week. All right, same time, same place, right here on my TikTok at the Nurse Sam One at 7 p.m. We started a little later um, this time, but next week we're gonna start at a regular time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember to download the app right here. All right, the Nurse Sam. Wait, move my face. The Nurse Sam app right there. Download that app so you can play the full and click Jeopardy at your fingertips with a friend by yourself. Doesn't matter. All right, the interactive game, and I will see you guys next week. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to click the link in my bio and check out those um, study guides, especially the ultimate bundle before we update it. All right, I will see y'all later. Mm -mm -mm. Thursdays, I'm sorry, what days you do these reviews? Thursdays, absolutely. I'll see y'all next time.